Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. So since I obtained a dragon pickaxe approximately three days ago, I decided that I wanted to do loot from 10 hours of mining amethyst. So the gear for this video is an amulet of glory, ring of wealth, dragon pickaxe, the full prospector set, a mining skill cape, and expert mining gloves. Also got a uh, fancy ancient kite shield on, but that's not really going to benefit me much but although you know it does look pretty nice with the uh, prospector as goes for the expert mining gloves the purpose of this is that when i have them equipped uh there is a chance that the rock i mine will not be depleted so that could be pretty beneficial over here at amethyst making it a little more afk than it already is and a little bit more profitable every hour and i'm sure most of you guys know this but the uh purpose of the prospector set uh yeah it looks pretty fashionable as well as it gives a 2.5 percent additional mining xp boost so that is why I went with that. Now, I've already received the uh, Rock Golem pet about four times from Amethyst, uh, so that was not the goal for this video. The goal for this one was to see how much GP I can net in a time span of 10 hours since this is 100 percent afk and minimal effort uh is required i do want to say there are fireworks in the background so i apologize if you guys can hear that i'm trying to lower my mic and then uh up it on camtasia so hopefully that doesn't bother you guys too much if so though i apologize it should uh tone down here in a few days i imagine all right, we got motorcycles too. Anyway, so each amethyst uh, that I do mine, these beautiful crystals in the inventory that you see here is worth 4.2K each. So let's say I average about 100 an hour, which I think is overestimating it. That is about 420K profit an hour. And if you multiply that by 10, you're looking at over 4 million GP. Uh, this doesn't include the clue scrolls that you can receive here or the gems that you can receive here too. So if you think about it that way, you know, a day and a half of doing this grind on the side it can practically earn you a bond so that's pretty nice now according to the wiki as i sort of mentioned before wearing my expert mining gloves while mining these crystals grants a 25 percent chance for it to not deplete but something that i did not uh have was the Verrock armor 4 which has a double ore effect so keep that in mind definitely bring that body piece if you have access to it another thing to keep in mind is that i am 99 mining with a dragon pickaxe so if you can relate to this video uh this should give you a pretty good idea of what you can expect to earn while AFKing here for 10 hours or even hour by hour since I you know recorded so much banking but if you are a lower level in mining and you have a lower tier pickaxe or lower tiered gloves this could affect your hourly rate to an extent uh, so you might not make as much but if you do have that Verrock armor 4 or if you have the elite Falador diaries completed you'll have access to an additional amethyst mine so that could make you potentially more profit an hour uh, compared to what I was receiving now that additional additional amethyst uh, mining room is just in the other room very close to the one I was using I think it's west of the bank and I did see a decent amount of people in that spot as well as in mine but odds are there are probably no bots in the diary area compared to the area that I was in and I definitely encountered a few bots which honestly didn't really bother me I mean I know I mentioned bots pretty frequently in these loot videos but that's just another factor in the game and it really does fascinate me you know for example seeing accounts with 200 mil thieving xp and my pickpocket pocketing videos or Zolra bots with 20,000 plus kill count while I was doing my Zolra video. I think as it goes for this 10 hour, the highest level mining bot I saw was 107 mining. So I guess that's not too bad. Although they are definitely making some good GP every day. That's for sure. Now, I certainly am no stranger uh, to the Amethyst. Uh, I started here at 92 mining, which is the bare minimum requirement for Amethyst with my famous rune pickaxe. And I stayed here until 99 and then far past that by about three three to almost four mil xp and i loved amethyst from the beginning because if you wanted to high out the crystal itself it would net you about 2.3k which is very helpful for an iron man struggling for gp but i didn't really do this too much uh, maybe a little bit in the beginning but i mainly focused on using a chisel on these amethyst crystals and that did get me a good amount of crafting xp uh really contributing a lot to my level 90 crafting and on top of that crafting xp i also got a decent amount of fletching xp i think i created over 
over 140,000 amethyst arrows, and I'm currently working on 50,000 amethyst dart tips. So it's definitely a very popular AFK method on any Iron Man account, and you're not just going to be getting 20k mining XP an hour, but you can translate that into hundreds of thousands of crafting and fletching XP depending on what you decide to do with these crystals. And as it goes for being a main account, I would assume that the best method is just to sell the crystals individually and make upwards of 400k an hour, uh, as well as having a high chance to receive the golem pet while being 100% AFK the whole time. The bank is very close by, and I think it takes me about 15 to 16 minutes to fill up my inventory, so I would say that's minimal attention required. And while I was recording this video, I was able to do about 6 hours of looting rogues chest in 53 wild on my main account. Definitely uh, click intensive. What a grind that is. I think I have about 34 hard clues scrolls from it so far. So I'm going to see if I can't make that a uh, separate video on its own. But either way, Amethyst was a great AFK side project. Um, and honestly, I could have done loot from 100 hours of mining these crystals. That's how laid back and beneficial it is. But since it is just stay awake January, I am going to pump these videos out hopefully every day. Uh, might miss a few, of course, but I am shooting for about 23 to 25 videos this month. And as we are nearing the price check, a little known fact about these Amethyst Crystals is that originally they were not planning on using that name. The original plan was to name this mineral Quartz, uh, that's Q-U-A-R-T-Z, but after some player complaints, Jagex decided to rename it Amethyst, which is a rare and valuable variety of Quartz. The things you learn in these videos, I tell you, but, but no, in all seriousness, uh, I credit the wiki for most of the things that I talk about in relation to whatever it is I'm doing for 10 hours on the given day. The wiki is incredible for pretty much everything in RuneScape, and the link to it uh, will be directly in the description below. And you know what else is in the description below? A 5% discount code link to your future dream computer, only found on ironsidecomputers.com. Eh, it's been a few weeks, so you gotta throw out iron sight every now and again. All right, well, that's enough of that. So loot from 10 hours of mining amethyst has been completed. I gotta say, 8.30 p.m., not the greatest time to do a voiceover. Between jets, motorcycles, and fireworks, this one took a lot of pauses, so bear with me on this one, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, I did receive a beginner, an easy, and a medium clue scroll while I was mining. No duplicates or anything like that. I just kept them in the bank, and seeing as I didn't get a hard or an elite, I don't think I would have gotten more had I done them right away. So we'll open those up after the price check. But overall, in 10 hours, I did manage to mine 882 amethyst crystals. We received 5 diamonds, 25 rubies, 32 emeralds, and 73 sapphires. That amulet of glory really coming in clutch there. Rounded up, it looks like we made 3.8 mil, averaging about 380k profit an hour, as well as 217k mining XP and an additional 40 to 50 minerals at the bottom right. Now we have the clue scrolls, uh, receiving uh, surprisingly a unique from the beginner clue, nothing too exciting from the easy, and uh, one more collection log slot from the medium, so I will happily take all that. Well, that is it for tonight's video. I will 100% uh, for sure see you guys tomorrow night with 10 hours of searching rogues chests, and then following that, I have a wilderness-related video, and then after that, I should have loot from 100 hard clue scrolls for you guys. You guys really seem to like the uh, clue scroll video last month, so I will be reaching over a thousand hard clues finally and I'm looking forward to showing you guys the uh, progression with that. All right, that's it for now. Take it easy guys and thank you for everything. Until next time, Mr. No Sleep out.